Hi there. I had to stand up for this story because I want to tell you a story about one of the great Pentecostal pioneers, a man called WFP Burton, who is affectionately known as Willie Burton. Uh, and he became a missionary in the African Congo. He was born in England and in 1905 he came to know Jesus. It was shortly after that that he and a group of friends uh, began hearing about the outpouring of the Holy Spirit on Azusa Street in Los Angeles. And it caused them to go to the scriptures to find out about this baptism with the Holy Spirit. It put such a, a spiritual hunger in them. And then it was in 1910 that they went to a conference in Sunderland where they were all gloriously filled with the Holy Spirit and they were on fire. Uh, it was one day in 1913 that Willie Burton and a friend were on vacation in a tiny Staffordshire village in England. Knew nothing about this village. I mean, complete strangers. But he found out later on that there was a woman in the village who'd been praying for revival for years. This village was spiritually dead. There were two rival Methodist churches on opposite sides of the street. They had been one church, but there had been a scandal, you know, there had been a rift that had split the churches, and now these members didn't even talk to one another in the village. Uh, neither church has seen one person come to faith in 11 years. And so this dear woman had brought it to God in prayer. And it would seem that God sent Willie Burton in response. Uh, of course, Burton, uh, he had no idea that God had prepared a work for him there. He thought he was on vacation. Uh, but one morning, he went down to the butcher shop, and there, in the line in front of him, he saw a woman who was deaf. Uh, she was struggling to hear and to be heard. And, and Burton says, as he looks back on this incident, uh, he could see that what he did was shockingly reckless. Uh, he could only believe, he said, that it was the Holy Spirit who was directing him, because before he knew what he was doing, he placed his hands on this deaf woman's ears, and in the name of Jesus, commanded these ears to be opened. And in a moment, she could hear perfectly. And soon the whole village heard, uh, because this woman and the butcher and all the other customers, they told everyone that they met. Well, the two Methodist churches got to hear about it, and they invited Willie to come and preach to them, to tell them the story. And so Willie spoke at the churches on alternate nights with the woman sharing her testimony, and the result was that the rift between these two churches was healed as forgiveness began to flow. And many people came forward to receive salvation so that these two churches began working together as one to minister to all the spiritually awakened people in their village. True story. And that, my friends, is why we're praying for revival. And it's why I want to encourage us all each day to ask God to fill us with his Holy Spirit, to say, Lord, will you fill me today with your Spirit, Lord? I need you. This world needs you, Lord. Please, Lord, fill me with your empowering presence, right? I'm not telling you to go and be reckless. I'm saying go, be filled with the Spirit, and let's see what God will do.